Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you After Effects brand new effect that they added called Camera Shake Deblur. This is usually to be used in conjunction with Warp Stabilizer VFX to remove the camera shake. Uh, before, if you throw in a Warp Stabilizer effect, it'd get it looking pretty solid, but if there was motion blur because you maybe you took a step, maybe it moved too quickly, all you see is that blur and then everything else looks perfectly stable and you got this blur here and it becomes an unusable shot. So I'm going to show you how to use camera shake de-blur to get this fixed. If you don't see it in your effects, go ahead and update After Effects to the newest version. This one came out within a few weeks of me posting this video. So you need it to be in the most updated version uh, possible so that you can get it and work with it. I'm running 14.2 right now. I just checked that. Um, so yeah. Let's get started with this effect. So we got this right here. We have, this is the original footage, just a band in Italy there, and really shaky, pretty unusable at this point. So we go ahead and we threw our warp stabilizer effect on here. We just threw the defaults of everything, 50% smoothness, smooth motion, subspace warp, everything like that. Already rendered that out, so we don't have to sit here and wait through that. And so we got this, this good footage here, but look, there's, there's this camera shake happening in the middle, like there's a small earthquake going on right here. And that makes it like maybe like two or three seconds we can throw it in there. But anything past that, it becomes too low quality to use it in anything high production. So then the next thing we can do is now we can add camera shake deblur. It is just an effect you can search over here in the effects and presets under blur and sharpen camera shake deblur. We take that and we throw it on there and let us turn this on right here and you can see the effect of it. So there is still a little bit of shake in there, but it is a whole lot better than it was. You can see that now there's just a little blur at the beginning and it almost goes a little bit away near the end. Um, they look jittery instead of full on motion blurry. So this was without it really noticeable. And then if you add it on there, a whole lot less noticeable. And you know, the better the shot, the more you'll be able to do with this. Now, let's go ahead and go through what each one of these parts means so that you can use it in the best way possible. We don't just have to use the defaults. So what we have here is called blur duration. Basically what happens is with shake sensitivity down here, the program senses a shake and then takes that frame and then it blends it with five, seven, or nine frames around it of sharpness. So it detects the blurry frame and then it knows that usually these are very small camera shakes and that's what it works best with. So it goes and it searches for sharp images within five frames. It takes all five of those frames and it blurs them together so that you kind of get some of that quality back. You can take those sharp ones, blur it in, and then you only lose a little bit of quality just on averages. Deblur method, you just got standard and high quality here. These are really self-explanatory. High quality supposedly does better and it's slower. So Hey, more power to it. Um, then we got strength down here, and this is just how strong it's going to blend those outer ones into the center one. If you pull it all the way up, it's gonna really take those edges, and you'll start to see the effect a lot more. And you can see since I turned it up, there is a noticeable, watch this man right here, watch him on the right. See him, see him doing that? Every time it shakes, it is using all the frames, so we're getting this weird motion over there. Uh, we Maybe we could crop this in to cut that out, or we could just hope that no one sees it. But yeah, so the stronger you do, the more of that effect you're gonna get. And then finally, we have shake sensitivity, and that is just how sensitive is it going to pick up a shake. So if we put this at 0%, it's not gonna pick up any straights. If we put it at like 10%, only the biggest shakes it'll try to fix. And if we put it at like 100%, every tiny movement is going to try to blend together. And which might work on a tripod shot, um, just because it could blend a lot more and you wouldn't see stuff like this. But if you're on a tripod, I don't know when you would actually be getting a lot of camera shake. So then, yeah, that is really the basics of this effect. You throw in warp stabilizer. You could throw it on without a warp, light, warp stabilizer and see if it could affect, you know, fix some of the stuff in there. But but if you throw it on with warp stabilizer, you can really finish out an effect and kind of save some some footage that might not have been used later or might have uh, lost some quality. So yeah, the, the one thing is you're going to get some of those weird blurs in it as well. And this is only going to work on your camera shake that is like a footstep or a small camera shake. If you're moving the camera like a panning shot or something and it's a continuous blur, it cannot fix that because there are no sharp frames on either side to blend in with it. But that is basically it for this effect. I just thought you guys wanted to know about it. I thought maybe throwing a tutorial and explaining to people would be a good idea. So here it is. That is it. Uh, if you want to see more Adobe related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I like to post a lot of Adobe related content, After Effects, Photoshop, sometimes in Premiere and in Design, stuff like that. Hit that subscribe and you know, you can see all that stuff. Uh, if you got any comments, suggestions, or like, um, 
ideas for future tutorials, throw those in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer any of the questions and make any of the tutorials that you guys want me to make. That'd be really cool. That's it. Till next time, guys. See ya.